Hello, I'm Angela Johnson. Welcome to the Craft Academy, where we give you demonstrations and inspirations for all your crafting. Today, I'm going to use some acrylic paint to show you stenciling techniques. And I found this really useful when I've been decorating plant pots. And I've taken some ordinary terracotta plant pots and got some really amazing effects. So I've taken a regular plant pot, a terracotta one. Now you might want to apply a base coat to this to protect it if you're going to use it outdoors. But what you'll find with acrylic paint is it really has great coverage. So I'm going to squeeze some of the paint onto a tray here. And then I'm going to take a regular sponge. It's just one of those kitchen sponges and you'll see how quickly this really does cover to produce a base for my stenciling. Now, depending on the colour of the paint you're using, you may need to do a couple of coats of the initial base colour. But I've already done half of this already because I want to show you the stenciling and this half of all has already dried. I did also paint inside the rim just so that you have the inside looking as good as the outside. Now, now I'm going to take my stencil. So I've already prepared a stencil here and I've got a nice design on it and it, I've put a little bit of tack, low tack adhesive on the back so that I can position it where I want to have my pattern. Now, it's important that this is going to stay on my pot. Now, I'm going to use the gold paint for this. Now, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of the gold out. Now, again, I want to make sure that this is going to really look good in the stencil. So, I want to dry off my paint. It's a bit strange that you put the paint off on your, on your sponge and then you take it off again because I want it to be as dry as possible so that it comes out well on my stencil. So holding the stencil in place, I could have taped the stencil down, but because I want to show you this as quickly as I can, I haven't taped it in place. And the stencil's quite small, so I don't think it's going to move. And I'm just dabbing on top of the stencil with my gold acrylic paint. And what's great about this, the paint's going on my fingers, but it's water-based. So I know I can wash my fingers afterwards. I'm going to now carefully lift up the stencil and there is a perfect design. Now I've got a little bit there that's gone over the gold there but actually that gives quite a nice distressed look because if I then go with my gold dry sponge you can see how I get another technique to give my pot a distressed finish which when you see what a finished a pot can look like it really does work well rejuvenating what could look like a pretty boring terracotta pot with a bit of careful stenciling and some lovely colourful acrylic paints. I think you'll agree with me, you get a really lovely finish and a nice gift for yourself or for somebody else.